Listen, folks, this is a video request from a Facebook friend and a J-Love 47 fan. He asked me to do a video that I felt was really interesting. Um, I liked the topic, so I decided to jump on it. But keep it short because I have to run. Um... He asked me, do I feel like attractive privilege exists or attractive people privilege? Does it exist? Just like white privilege. Uh, I feel like it does. Um, especially in the workplace. Um, even in terms of relationships, I knew people who were in relationships with people who they didn't even really find that attractive. But I don't know if they were in a relationship with the individual because they were settling or because it was other things that the person brought to the table that allowed them to overlook the person's lack of looks. Um... But I noticed, you know, with some female friends of mine in the past, they would complain about how a man is doing them wrong and, you know, they would con continue to stay with them. And I noticed that in most of these cases, the men that they put up the most shit from were conventionally attractive. And what I mean by conventionally attractive for people who don't know is universally attractive, meaning that they were attractive all across the board like any culture people will find them attractive um they were usually you know light skin or had a lighter skin tone um had curly hair they had all of the physical features and traits that are valued and placed on a pedestal in our society and me personally i just think that's dumb because i think that there's different forms of beauty i think dark skin is beautiful i think that a bold uh, a broad nose and big lips and bold features are beautiful. Kinky hair is beautiful. But those are not the physical traits that our society has coronated as attractive features. We, we They don't deem them as attractive features. Um, we only... We have a very closed-minded view of what attractiveness is. And we only feel like there's only one way to be attractive and that's to be lighter skin, curly hair, thinner features. You know what I'm talking about. So these guys were universally attractive and I felt like, you know, even with men, male friends that I, I, I know, they've been with very attractive women. I noticed that they put up more with the attractive girls that they were in relationships with whereas though the uh, average to not so good looking girls that they dealt with they kind of were quick to kick them to the curve it's like as soon as they did something that they didn't like or they felt like they were being unfaithful or lying or you know whatever the issue was it seemed like they just got rid of them like you don't get no second and third chances because you're an ugly ass bitch whereas it's like the really attractive and pretty girls they continue to put up with so much of their bullshit even if they felt like they couldn't trust the girl if the girl kind of showed them their true colors or showed them another side that wasn't really you know uh, appealing uh they would still deal with them and it, my only reason is because you know it was because of the looks i noticed that there has been a consistent pattern with the people that i've known they tend to deal with the people who treat them like shit a little longer if they are attractive you know um on a workplace you know men obviously are very visual and you know they would definitely help um uh, uh, allow one of their attractive very beautiful um co-workers to get away with things or let them slide um 
and 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 you know allowed them to get away with things that they wouldn't allow their you know female co-workers to get away with um like if they were a boss or a supervisor or whatever uh the the unattractive girl probably got two strikes <laughs> the attractive girl probably got nine lives <laughs> you know she can fuck up nine times and then it's like okay i've really gotta let you go i know you're beautiful and i love you and i love your body love looking at you every day but you gotta go now uh i experienced that kind of firsthand um i remember as a uh uh adolescent i felt like certain members of my family would kind of treat my male cousins a little better than me because you know obviously um you know just average to low average i'm not that attractive and my cousin was very gorgeous and um I don't know. I just always kind of felt like when, you know, he was around and he would do things. It, I don't know. It, it, just the way he, he would come in the room, they would say like they would just get so overly excited by the fact that my attractive cousins uh, would be around, you know. And you can just kind of sense. You can just, some things, is, it's just easy. You can just sense it. We're human beings. We, we have senses. I have a good spirit of discernment. I can kind of pick up things. I'm like a psychologist. I can kind of sense things by body language, the way that you talk to a person, the tone that you use. I kind of got a good sense that my family, you know, kind of favored them because they were of lighter complexion, for one, and because they were just simply much more attractive than I am. Uh, so I've I've witnessed that firsthand. Um, so, yeah, I, I definitely believe that attractive privilege uh, exists. I've seen like in, you know, even among friends within the friend circle. You know, it'd be like an altercation or argument between attractive guy and just the other guy or the average guy. And I noticed that people will kind of, you know, side with the attractive one over the unattractive friend. You know what I mean? Uh, I've seen a lot of web series and stuff like that. Um, and even movies and stuff and reality shows. And, and it just seems like it's, it's a common occurrence. It's, it's, it's one thing that remains to be consistent. And that's usually, you know, most attractive people, they get the benefit of the doubt. You know what I mean? And, and that's just the world we live in. We live in a very superficial world. So if you are attractive, you're going to notice that you're going to be given more chances than somebody that's unattractive. Studies kind of confirm this. Um, but I don't really go by studies. I just go by what I see in my personal life. And that's definitely something that I have witnessed on quite a few occasions in my, my personal life. Um, I'm not really around many attractive people. Uh, unfortunately, many attractive people I don't really care to be around because I find that they're really snobbish. Uh, and, and in many cases, the ones that I've dealt with do feel like they, they are better as human beings. They, a lot of them really feel, have a superiority complex and feel like, you know, I look better than you, so I am better than you. Not just look wise, but I feel like I'm a better person than you. And I'm just like, ooh, like, some of them can have a really sick, twisted, and uh, distorted mentality. Uh, that's not the reason why I, I don't purposely just not be around them. I might have a couple of attractive friends, but I just don't really. I'm not really around them much. I, I just, you know, I just don't have like any. I have attractive friends, but not like gorgeous, you know what I mean? Or very attractive. They just kind of. Like about a seven out of a ten, you know? Um, so yeah, yeah, you know? Uh, whether it's a relationship or just uh, somebody in the workplace, they're definitely giving more opportunities. I think that if a guy is driving on a block and he see that a uh, unattractive woman, maybe somebody look like Precious or somebody, I hate to put it on the spot, but I'm, I can't think of anybody right now. Somebody like Precious that's not really that attractive or she don't really meet the standard of beauty. She's not universally attractive. She's really dark, heavy set. You know, that's like you got two strikes against you already. You're dark, you're heavy set, and then you don't have long hair. <laughs> you know, um, I feel like if she was stranded on a road, I don't feel like most guys would stop to help her. You know what I mean? Um, if our car was stranded in the snow or broke, just simply broke down, I don't think many guys on the road would stop to help her. Uh, I feel like if 
they drove down the road and saw some really pretty girl that kind of looked, looked like Aaliyah or Beyonce with a nice toned body, light skin, long hair, pretty, you know, or maybe a Puerto Rican girl or some like racially ambiguous woman that looked like Kim Kardashian or something. I definitely think men would stop and, and, and assist her because she's attractive. And again, these are the benefits and the, the, the good treatment that comes with being attractive. You know what I mean? You just get the benefit of the doubt. You have leverage. Um, people make accommodations for you. You know what I mean? They make exceptions for you. Uh, so, yeah, yeah, you know, I, I definitely think it exists. Uh, it's not right, but it's not going to change. We live in a very superficial and visual society that values beauty. You know what I mean? If you're beautiful, you're uh, y you are worth more. You know what I mean? Remember the guy that, uh, remember that handsome felon? Type in on Google, handsome felon. You was, I did a video about him, but you, some of you may not remember him or have heard about the story. He's a really light skinned guy with like colored eyes. He's like black, but he like, he's a little mixed or something. And he's like just gorgeous and attractive and very handsome male. And nobody addressed what he did, the crime that he committed because People would overlook whatever flaw it is that you have, whatever crime you commit or whatever fucked up thing you did. It don't matter how, you know, uh, much you are in the wrong. It don't matter how um, heinous the action was. Uh, they don't care. You're beautiful. And that's just the way it is, man. People would take... A beautiful person over an intelligent person that got brains. I know a lot of people say, I won't, I won't. But, you know, uh, intelligent people definitely have an advantage and they definitely have it much easier in our society and, and can probably go further. You know what I mean? Um, so, I think I bring that video to a close. I don't know what else to say about this topic. I'm trying to think of any other instances that I may have seen that I, I'm not, you know, remembering right now of. Uh, but yeah, it um, attractive privilege definitely exists, um, unfortunately, and that's just the way ignorant people are. Because I definitely don't buy you attractive people. I think that you know, especially if it was a job, it's all about what you can bring to the table. If you can, you know, help my business get to the next level, that's the only thing I'm worried about. People were people are just dumb and ignorant. They're, they're, they're just foolish, uh, and they don't. Their priorities are not in order, and they don't buy you things that that are really valuable. You know what I mean? I, I buy you things that are beneficial to my future. You know what I'm saying? Like if you can help me get to the next level, if you have some great qualities, you're a great person. You know, everybody wants somebody to look half decent. I want somebody to look half decent. I want somebody that I'm attracted to, but they don't have to be gorgeous or attractive. And if somebody's gorgeous or attractive, and they're in an altercation with somebody, I'm not going to take their side just because they look good because I don't buy you. I'm not one of the people that buy you looks. As you can see, my hair nappy and I'm got a beard. Y'all already know me. I'm like real scruffy and rugged and unkempt. You know, I'm clean. I wash, rubber, wash my ass, brush my teeth really good. But as far as keeping myself up, like that's just not a priority for me. Like I'm not into that superficial vain bullshit. I I just fuck with good people. That's what I want in my life. Good, real, genuine, honest motherfuckers. I could really care less about. Look, so for me, I'm not like that. Just to make that clear, um, I I just like a real motherfucker. I, I I judge you by your character, your personality, and who you are on the inside. Because at the end of the day, those are the only things that's going to matter. Because looks are going to fade. You know, every attractive person that's out there, they ain't going to be attractive probably 10, 15 year, year, uh, years from now. They're going to start wrinkling up. They're going to probably gain some weight. And at the end of the day, we all going to be dead in bones anyway, right? So, um, yeah. I guess that's all I, I'll have to say. You know, I definitely think, even like in the music industry, if you're really, really attractive, you get more opportunities. Like, they talked about that. If you're a dark girl, but you're beautiful, like Kelly Rowland, you're not going to get the same opportunity as somebody that's like a light-skinned pretty girl like Beyonce. You know what I mean? Just the way it is. If you're a dark-skinned nigga, you ain't going to have bitches jumping on your dick the way they jumping on, jumping on Drake dick. Just the way it is, man. So, that's my video request for you. Hope you like the video. Um, leave your comments. Tell me if you agree. Tell me if you disagree. Peace.